Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Now we are going to study the topic Basic Components of Integrated Pest Management IPM Strategy. So let's move. First we will go through what is Integrated Pest Management IPM. IPM is the best combination of mechanical, cultural, biological and chemical measures to manage diseases, insects, weeds and other pests. As per Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, IPM means considering all available pest control techniques and other measures that discourage the development of pest populations while minimizing risks to human health and the environment. IPM allows farmers to manage diseases, insects, weeds and other pests in a cost-effective and environmentally sound way. In integrated pest management, our most focus is on cultural, biological methods and least focus on chemical control. There are various components of integrated pest management IPM strategies about which we will study here. These components can be described as prevention, location, crop rotation, cropping pattern, crop variety selection, crop husbandry and hygiene, harvesting and storage, monitoring, cultural control, mechanical and physical control, biological control and chemical control. So we will study about details in each component. Prevention. The prevention mechanism is designed to limit or prevent initial outbreak of pests, weeds and disease infestation. There are practical strategies which are familiar in agriculture and it can be combined and optimized to design integrated pest management programs. The goal of prevention is to prevent pest populations from building up to the economically damaging levels. So the, by the following the principles of prevention, we can check the development of insect pest because of which they should not reach to the damage level. Location is one of the component which is impacting the IPM strategies. We have to grow the crops in their suitable environmental conditions. Growing crops in appropriate locations where they are suited to climate, soil and topography provides the crop with optimal growing conditions from the start. So there will be little impact of whatever the pest damaging the crops and crop will be healthy and we can get the desired yields. Crop rotation. Crop rotation refers to the growing of different crops in a same piece of land in a sequential manner. Growing different crops in rotation helps reduce the buildup of certain pests, especially the soil insects like nematodes, root feeding insects and fungal pathogens. Cropping pattern. First to understand what is cropping pattern. Cropping pattern is the pattern of crops for a given piece of land or cropping pattern means the proportion of area under various crops at a point of time in a unit area. Cropping pattern indicates the yearly sequence and special arrangements of crops and fallow on a given area. So in a cropping pattern, we have to include the different crops and there should be also some phyllo land management and addition of different type of crops. Planting of similar host crops alongside each other can substantially increase wheat disease or pest pressure and it should be avoided up to the possible extent. Crop variety selection. This is also one of the important point in integrated pest management. We have to select the varieties which are having the disease and pest resistance characteristics. These varieties may reduce the need for other crop production measures and it will break the chain of development of pests. Crop husbandry and hygiene. This is one of the important factor in integrated pest management. Good crop hygiene is also important in reducing the buildup and carry over of pest populations from one crop to another. In such cases, we have to make the measures and step to remove all the crop residue from the field and it should be isolated from the growing crop. 
methods are labor intensive like removal and destruction of crop residue but these practices may provide essential way of reducing the survival of some pests into the next season like example in cotton the carry over of pink bollworm from one crop to another can be reduced by removing the residue and destroying the cotton trace so for different crops this method should be adopted to avoid any impact on next crop harvesting and storage there are probabilities of presence of weed seeds pathogens and insect pests while harvesting and storage so carry over of weed seeds and pathogens can be reduced by the appropriate harvesting methods drying seed cleaning and proper storage methods so we have to follow the all protection measures while storage to eliminate the presence of pests monitoring monitoring is one of the essential component to observe the status of pests their presence in the field ferment traps can be used to monitor field population of insects it also helps in taking decision regarding initiation of control measures when the population reaches economically threshold level in integrated pest management there are various methods involved like mechanical biological chemical and biotechnological methods observing crop determination is required when and what action should be taken to maximize crop production and quality decision making is one of the important measure decision making tools range from peg boards to computers and trained local experts to remote sensing technologies getting real time information on what is happening in the field is ideal so we have to follow the all best methods for the monitoring to take the preventive steps and corrective measures cultural controls cultural controls are practices that reduce pest establishment reproduction dispersal and survival like example changing irrigation practices can reduce pest problems since too much water can increase root disease and weeds also there are various cultural practices which are used like use of healthy seeds removal and destruction of infected plants from the field use of resistant varieties and following etc next component is mechanical and physical controls mechanical and physical controls kill a pest directly block pest out or make the environment unsuitable for it traps for rodents are examples of mechanical control physical controls include mulches for weed management steam sterilization of the soil for disease management and barriers such as screen to keep birds and insects out so there are various mechanical and physical control methods biological control biological control is a method where there is use of natural enemies like predators parasites pathogens and competitors to control pests and their damage there are microorganisms such as bacteria fungi or viruses which have been mass produced to control some pests and one of the successful example is bacillus thuringiensis bt which is a naturally occurring bacterium which has been used to control several insect pests now chemical control chemical controls means use of pesticides to control the pests in integrated pest management pesticides are used only when needed and in combination with other approaches for more effective long term control pesticides are selected and applied in a way that minimizes their possible harm to people non target organisms and the environment with integrated pest management we will use the most selective pesticides that will do the job and be the safest for other organisms and for environment like air soil and water quality we have to use the pesticides in bait stations rather than spray 
or a spot spray a few weeds instead of entire area so there should be minimum minimum use of pesticides localized placement and we have to consider the safety of health and environment now conclusion an integrated pest management strategy should ideally be developed for a, a specific region and appropriate intervention to control relevant pest should be decided on economic threshold level etl and regular scouting of the pest population is important to take the corrective measures so this presentation was all about basic components of integrated pest management ipm strategies hope this will be useful to all of you thank you very much i have given here my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind feedback thank you